All right, guys, this is Joel with Details. Today, I'm gonna show you how to remove stains without an extractor. Let me ask you, do you carry an extractor? I do, well, I don't have it with me now. I, I do have one. I use it very, very seldom. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we have the stains in this car. Yes. What's the first thing you're gonna do? The first thing I'm gonna do is vacuum it. I'm gonna blow out all the debris up top. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna hit it with my Terminator from PNS. It's an enzyme and spot remover. I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna treat the surface, and I'm actually going to uh, I'm actually gonna start rubbing in. So I'm gonna just lightly spray over the area, and I'm gonna let this enzyme treatment work on the stain itself. Just gonna rub it in lightly with my hand, let it work its way into the fibers. And I'm just gonna leave that for a couple of minutes. How come you didn't use your towel? Right now I'm using, well if I use the towel, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start pulling up the enzyme cleaner. Oh. I don't wanna pull up the Terminator, I want the Terminator to stay on the surface of the, uh, of the actual fabric itself. So by using my, my glove, I'm actually just, I'm just rubbing it in and massaging it into the fibers. So it's just, it's pushing it down into the fabric itself. If I were to use my this, I'm gonna be mopping up and cleaning it off. I don't want it to be clean off. I want it to stay on the surface doing its job. Okay, and you say leave it for a couple minutes, right? Yes. So I'm gonna let to, this sit. Is it possible to leave it too much and damage something? Um, not really, not this cleaner, depending on what material you're using. Um, you're using it on. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem leaving it on. Some of the heavier stains that I've done in the past, I'll do, I'll do the process and then I'll shoot it with the Terminator and actually leave the Terminator on as, as I finish at the very end, just so it's actually working as I leave. So um, yeah, there's times where I've sprayed Terminator on something, came back the next day if I was doing a vehicle, um, you know, for any reason coming, returning the next day and it actually worked and I'll see the actual spot and the difference where it evaporated and, and, uh, and actually on the surface so it's a, it's a very, very strong cleaner. It works yeah. very well. Now, do you do this seat, let, let it sit and go somewhere else or you wait to finish this? I'm gonna let this sit. Like it doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, a, a one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute. You just, depending on the soiling level, you know, like this one here, I'm already seeing results. So mm -hmm. this fabric here stains pretty lightly. These are very, very, superficial stains they're just on the surface they're not super deep it doesn't look like there was any food it could have even just been water some some uh some fabrics will actually just have water rings they'll leave stains just from water so i'm going to show you guys how to how to get it out have make it look nice clear and clean without any kind of uh water edges if if that's what's going on so now i'm going to follow it through with my carpet bomber from pns just a couple mists What's carpet bomber for? Carpet bomber is a carpet cleaner. Oh. So this one's an enzyme spot remover. So that's actually gonna break down the dirt and separate. So if there's oils and grease, if there's dirt and oils, if there's food coloring, um, you know, or protein matter, it's all gonna separate with the enzyme cleaner and it's gonna break it apart and it's gonna start dissipating and, um, and pretty much opening up whatever the stain is made up of, it's breaking it up so it's easier to come off of the surface. The carpet bomber is actually a carpet shampoo. So it has cleaning agents in it, it has, it has a shampoo, it has a gorgeous smell, and it actually is gonna have a little bit of sudsing action as well. So now I'm gonna go through with my towel, and I'm just gonna give this a quick wipe. So if you're out there detailing, just starting, there's a lot of other items you can use here for this process. This is my chosen method and my chosen uh, chemicals. And I have not been disappointed by them. I'm doing this now and I still have the other part of the detail to take care of. So if I have to do another round, I'll do another round, but I'm not having to pull out an extractor. I'm not having to saturate it with water. I'm not having to wait for it to dry. This is still considered, even though it's wet, it's still considered a dry method. It's not 
I'm gonna go back through when I do the steaming of the hard surfaces. I'm gonna steam the, so the, um, the upholstered areas too. So when I do steam it out, it's gonna actually help break anything up, freshen it up a little bit. That's if it needs it, you know, but for the most part, 95% of the time, I'm good with this method here. Hey, what's up? Joel. Yes. So, you're doing this method right now. Mm -hmm. Let's say the stains didn't come out. Yes. What will be the next step for you? Steam it. I'll mm. steam it. Steam will definitely get out. For me, steam, if you have the right technique, you can get just as good of results if you have proper technique with steam than you can with an extractor. There's gonna be varying cases where yes, steam is gonna work better or extraction is gonna be work better. But overall, I think they're pretty equivalent as far as stain removal if you have proper technique. Hey, Joel, let's say somebody out there who mm -hmm. wants to get the same product. Yes. What can they get them at? They can get them from the link below in detailedimage.com. I have a 10% coupon and I also have individual links so you can purchase them by the gallon. Uh, linked in my description below. Hey, Joel. What's up? Something I'm noticing is that the seats, they're a little damp. Yeah. Do they stay damp for a long time or? No, it's we're just putting a very little, you know, very little product on it, a few sprays per section. And then we're taking most of it off of here. And I am gonna go through and hit this with steam lightly. So the, the, um, the heat from the steam is gonna help it dry up quickly too. The steam will um, add a little bit of moisture to it, but you're gonna be, the heat is going to overcompensate for the actual moist, uh, that this is actually the, the, the level of moisture that this has uh, put upon it. All right guys, so this is just the, my technique. The reason I know how to do this and I get this result with this uh, chemical is because I've learned proper technique with it. So I can't stress the importance of understanding your chemicals, understanding fabrics, understanding materials, understanding the towels, everything that you use, the more you understand it, the more you are able to get the best out of it. So it's very, very important to understand and educate yourself on what you're using, how to use it, when to use it, in order for it to be the most effective. All right, guys, so that's my methods of stain removal without an extractor. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your guys' methods, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember, like, subscribe, and share these videos. See you guys on the next one.